All right, I talked to a lot of people throughout the country about Eagle Idaho, and one of the negatives that people say is, hey, we love Eagle, but I don't think we can afford it. Eagle Idaho is expensive, and I'd say that's probably the biggest con about living in Eagle Idaho, is just you're gonna have to pay a premium price to get to Eagle. However, if you can afford to move into Eagle, Idaho, you're gonna be very happy you did because over time, the value has consistently stayed the same or rapidly gone up because it's such a beautiful area to live in. So the downside about living in Eagle can be the traffic. And I'm not talking about the traffic in residential neighborhoods and getting to and from your house to your neighbor's house. What I'm talking about is just the main thoroughfare from State Street up to the village, towards the village, to Chinden Boulevard. It can get backed up on that Chinden Road. However, flip side, coming down towards State Road, it used to back up quite a bit, but the city's aware of the growth that, that Eagle's having, and so they've already widened all that area, adjusted the light timers, just to make sure traffic is flowing consistently as you head down towards State Road. Now, the reason why you kind of have some bottlenecking around those main thoroughfares is because there's so much shopping right around the Eagle area. You have inside downtown Eagle, you have the old Albertsons, you have McDonald's, you know, coffee shops, hair cutting place, gym, all that stuff is right down in, in the main part of um, Old Eagle. But as people are moving here, they want the newer stuff. They want to go to the new Costco. They want to go up to the village and take in a movie, which is so accessible. It just creates more traffic. Now, one thing that is great about Eagle is you have three ways to get up into Meridian, depending on where you want to go. You can head south on Eagle Road towards the village, or if you just want to hit Costco, you can go up Linder, head south on Linder from Eagle and right up to the Costco. Or you can just take Highway 16 South, make a left on Chinden, and you're right at the Costco. So even though there is a little bit more traffic, accessibility to shopping is so easy from Eagle, it's just a no-brainer. Now, a lot of people always ask Greg, I'm having a hard time finding the information about schools online. You know, how are the schools in Eagle? The city of Eagle has great schools inside its boundaries. You have Eagle High, you have Eagle Middle, and then you have a lot of elementary schools throughout, plus charter schools. Matter of fact, Eagle High earned IHSA's School of Excellence Award, which is, there's three major areas of high school activities, and they're weighted equally in determining the, the recipients of the award. So the academic component is based on the varsity team's cumulative GPA. The performance component is based on place of finish in the IHSAA sponsored state championship. And the citizenship component is based on the school's self-evaluation of their citizenship and sportsmanship activities as submitted on an itemized form. So if you're looking for great schools, Eagle has it. And the number one rule in real estate is location, location, location. Eagle nails it. Eagle is so close to downtown. It's about 20 minutes from Legacy into downtown. You are minutes from the foothill. So if you like to bike or you like to be active, you can head over to the Eagle Hills Bike Park and have a blast with your family or just yourself. Or you can just start off on the Ridge to Rivers Trail and start hiking those foothills. You also have incredible views of the foothills from parts of Eagle that are just stunning in the winter and in the summer. Now, there is one downside of Eagle and it's perception based only because I know a lot of people who live in Eagle who don't feel this way. A lot of people here think that, oh, you live in Eagle, so that means you have money and or everything is bougie. The house is bougie. The cars are bougie. Everything is bougie, but it's not the case. It's perception based only. So you do have people who have a good amount of money, but you have people who have good amount of money in Star, Meridian, CUNA, Nampa, Caldwell, Boise, Everyone, there's plenty of money here in the Treasure Valley. It's just perception based. So I wouldn't come to Idaho thinking, oh, they're from Eagle. That's not the case at all. And people who live here don't feel that way at all. One of the biggest draws to Eagle is just how safe it is and how safe it feels. So if you're moving a family, a young family, and you know, you want to be able to let the kids play at the park without you having to hover over them constantly, you can do that here in Eagle. That is a huge draw to living in Eagle. It's just the safety factor that plays into this community. You have a lot of families that move here, you have a lot of retirees that move here, and young professionals who are just starting out their careers or starting a young family live here in Eagle. Why? Because of the safety. Hey, so if Eagle Idaho is a place that you want to check out, what I want you to do is go to our team's website, www.goingidaho.com, and start looking at all the houses here in Eagle Idaho or around Eagle Idaho that might be of interest to you. Then I want you to hop over to our social media site. We're on Twitter and Instagram. We're all over and connect with us. Bottom line is, I want you to feel comfortable with your decision to come to Idaho. Rates are going up, so people are a little bit more 
um, excited about getting here sooner or later. So at any point, pick up the phone, reach out to us. We'd love to chat with you just to kind of hear what you're going through or what your situation might be so that we can kind of help put a game plan together that's right for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And until next time, enjoy the rest of the videos and go Idaho.